We've heard amazing things about the Children's Museum in Seattle, so we're gonna go check it out today. The storytelling room. There's a story today at 12 o'clock. The transit station. So there's some train tables. Looks like the monorail. It's not busy here right now, which is great. So the kids can run around and check everything out without it being real busy. Eye clinic, market, so the kids can go shopping. There's also a construction zone. Play cafe. If you wanted to pretend you're making mommy and daddy a coffee, serving them some food, a cute little area. Not sure I'd want my chef cooking on the floor and plating it here, but whatever works. We are here on a Thursday and it's 10.45 in the morning. And as you can see, it's not very busy yet at all. So if you want to beat the crowds, then early morning is what I would recommend. Theater, you can dress up, put on a little show. There is a art studio, so you pick a time ticket. We're gonna go 11.10 to 11.35 and you take your ticket for however many people are in your party. Cooper's painting in the studio. Kaya painted as well. You build an animal house or do clay. He's working on the clay. This is one of the program center rooms. Apparently there's a big slide up here. Like a small little town. Little hair salon. The tailor. Tourist information. It's pretty cool. There's so many activities for the kids to be doing to keep busy. Little Japanese apartment. The living room. Bedroom. Kitchen. Discovery Bay is for kids ages zero to three. Oh, it's a ball. We've been at the Children's Museum for two hours and the kids had a blast. They've been running around. They actually don't want to leave, but we need to leave to go have lunch. So if you're in the Seattle area and you want to bring your kids to an awesome museum, then come to the Children's Museum at Seattle Center.